Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. Capricorn, this is for the week of September 26th through October the 2nd. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Uh, if you are new here, Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I hope you get some information that you're looking for or something resonates with you in this reading. Thank you so much for um, your time and energy. If you are returning, thank you so much for uh, your trust and support. Thank you for your like, shares, and subscribes for all your comments, all the things. I really appreciate all of you all. Uh, Capricorn, if you need anything, it's in the description below. If you'd like to know what decks of cards I'm using, if you would like a personal private reading with me, if you're needing more information or guidance, feel free to check out my website. It's listed below. And um, if you need more information on astrology, astro.com is listed there also. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Um, something cyclical, something's coming back into play something um, that maybe went away is coming back in or this is a seasonal thing this happens every year it's to be expected it's also fortune's wheel so you could have good luck coming in uh, lady luck smiles upon you with the upright fortune's wheel um, again an another passing of a year another passing of a of a thing you know something that comes full circle also we have the beautiful lover's card, uh, card six. It's a card of harmony. Um, high priestess and ace of earth. So new. Wow. So this could be you and your partner. This could be you looking for love if you haven't found it. Or this could be you finding love. Usually the lovers, if they're there, they're there. Um, it can be, you know... Maybe take something, maybe taking the relationship to the next level, especially with Wheels Fortune. You know, it's turning. It's turning in your favor. It's it's moving up. And maybe you're taking something in to the next level. You have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is all, all, all about intuition and knowing, listening to yourself, listening to your gut instincts. Having, um, you know, could be having psychic ability or having a very strong intuition uh, you could have this uh, knowing about somebody. It, and again, it's a card of balance, bringing in balance. Um, you could feel very safe and secure and have a very steady relationship with this person. And again, you could be upping it to the next level. You have the Ace of Earth. Maybe, maybe you're buying a house together or building a house or something like that. Um, you know, Aces are all about new beginnings. And then the Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which is you. And it's also a card of um, putting down roots. You know, putting down roots. Growing. What are you growing? What are you going to manifest? This could be a new job opportunity also. It's like you're, um, you know, being very secure in your partnership can maybe lead or lend you to trusting your instincts on movement or where you all want to go, what you want to do. And that could lead to, you know, maybe a new job because the earth is all about money also. Um, and new and new, but I see it almost as a, a putting down roots, building a house, making something permanent is what I feel that is. Again, with fortune's wheel, how things are turning in your favor, how, um, how things come full circle. There's transformation and growth. Again, the high priestess, your intuition, your guidance. It's, it's that still small voice in you, really trusting it. And again, I think you feel very safe and secure in your partner. You know, coming from a higher source energy. Because I see this too. I don't feel pick up on camera. It's almost like rays coming down. There you go. You see it a little better there. 
having growth. Aces a lot of times aren't offered uh, for a long time. So it's like if you're going to build a house or if you're going to buy a house or if you're doing something to that, um, don't hem-haw around on it or don't, even if it's a job that you, you're going for, you know, strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. Beautiful energy is kind of just right in your face. The High Priestess, again, that inner knowing, that knowledge, going within, being still, not having to um, broadcast things, you know? Neither one of you have to broadcast things. You don't even, I feel like, too, with your partner, sometimes you don't even need to communicate. You don't even need to talk to know what each of you are thinking or what what's going on. There's such a strong connection there. Yeah, Mushroom. How interesting. I don't know much about mushrooms. I don't like them um, personally. So I don't really know much about them. I know that um, there, some of them can be poisonous. And let's see what the book says. Mushroom. Thanks for watching. I don't know what this would mean. Um, hmm. Let's see. Well, let's see if I can find it. It's one thing I don't like about this book. It's hard for me to find things. All right. There, I'll turn right to it. Friend or foe. Sometimes it's hard to determine based by appearance. Ah, yeah, because yeah, I may be poisonous. Who may be good for you and who's not? Follow it. Follow your gut here. It won't lead you astray. Again, I think you have a very good feeling about this person. There are strange and unpredictable surprises ahead. The best you can do is keep an open mind. What may seem to be an isolated circumstance is not. It's part of a larger behavioral or sy systemic pattern that you haven't seen the whole of yet. There are more clues brewing just under the surface. Hmm. So if there's something going on, possibly at work or maybe with your partner, I have a feeling it's more with a friend, then just know that it's probably not over and there's going to be more that's going to come into light. You know, mushrooms thrive in the darkness. They grow um, from um, stuff in the in the forest and, and that it, that's dying or, or dead. Hmm. It says all mushrooms are edible, but some only once. Hmm. Further adding to the mystic nature, many species of mushrooms seemingly sprout up overnight out of nowhere, spawning much lore over the centuries about spirit workings. I've always heard of fairy rings. You know, if there's a ring of mushrooms in your yard, it's a fairy ring, and it's supposed to be good luck. And you're supposed to be able to walk in the ring with permission and, and make a wish. So, I've always heard that. But I don't think I've ever been lucky to have a fairy ring in my yard. Alright. So, that is that. If you like mushrooms, there you go. It's a nod to you. Um, but, again, I think it is uh, a, move, a movement forward in your relationship. Something that you are comfortable with. You, you trust your gut instinct. Um... And Capricorn, I just feel, too, that, you know, with that, the Ace of Earth and this is your sign, I feel very strongly, too, that uh, you don't need outside input. You don't need outside influence. You don't need somebody. You don't need to ask. It's like you really do trust your instincts. And you trust your partner. You trust your partner to be on the up and up also. The Lovers is a card of Gemini, if that's any consequence to any of you. But again, the Fortune's Wheel. Something could be coming back around. Um, this could be maybe last year you all talk, talked about moving forward and COVID hit and maybe you couldn't. 
or job wise you couldn't or something like that 10 is a completion it's the end of a cycle to begin a next so again this is a new cycle coming in it's a new start to something i'd love to know what do you let me know and to me, the high priestess, too, is being more in tune and in touch with your spirituality, with the spirit realm, with the fae, with the, you know, with the mushrooms, so to speak. All right. All right, Capricorn. If you know any other Capricorns that this, you know, sounds like, please feel free to share. Good luck to you this week. I would love to know how this resonates with you. And um, take care of yourself and each other. Please stay safe and healthy. And until next week, I will see you. Bye for now.